Hello Kanto University, this is Mr. Lila Bubba, and welcome to Pokemon Competitive Bios. Today's Pokemon is Lapras. Lapras is a combination water and ice type. It was introduced in Generation 1, and it is currently in the NU tier. Now, in this video, I'm going to be giving letter grades to the stats, move pool, abilities, typing, and the counters against Lapras, and then giving it an overall letter grade for its usability at the end of the video, as well as suggesting a set that you could run on this Pokemon to be successful in competitive play. So let's go ahead and get started with the stats. As you'll see on screen, Lapras has the following stats. HP 130, an attack stat of 85, defense is 80, special attack is the same as its attack and that's 85, its special defense is 95, and its speed is 60. Now the grade that I chose to give these stats was a B+. That's because it has really good HP, obviously having a base stat of 130. It has passable um, defenses, not necessarily physical defense, but its special defense is definitely passable at 95. Its attack stats can also be decent if they are built on, of course, because it does have some setup moves, but we'll get to that later. But the speed is really its number one drawback because it's not quite fast enough to sweep and it's not quite bulky enough to be a wall um, stock, I guess I should say. There are a lot of ways that you can strategize with this Pokemon to work these stats to your advantage, but the stats alone are not exactly the best. That's why I chose to give Lapras a B+. So moving on to the move pool. I chose to give Lapras an A in this department. That's because it has a really good diversity of attacking moves, including things like Hydro Pump and Blizzard for Stab, as well as Thunderbolt, Thunder, even Psychic and Outrage. So this thing has a lot of good attacking moves at its disposal um, that can be very hard hitting, um, especially uh, if you're getting things like Stab, I mean, especially in things like Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Ice Beam, Surf, waterfall, those type of things. They can be very, very powerful and, and it's very diverse. It can um, learn a lot of different types of moves, I guess I should say. And not only um, attacking wise, it also gets great setup moves with things like Parish Song, Curse, even Dragon Dance, and it also gets two weather moves and those can be very helpful due to the fact that both Obama Snow and Politoed are not in NU, so you can't set up Rain or Hail. Uh, in that tier without having a Pokemon that knows it, and Lapras, of course, being a water and ice type, can learn both of those, but just to say, weather is not really prominent in NU, but still, it can come in handy in situations. So that is why I chose to give Lapras a move pool grade of an A. On to Lapras's abilities. Now, Lapras gets three abilities, two um, through regular play, of course, and one through the Dream World. Its first ability is Water Absorb, and that's going to heal 25% of your total HP when you are hit by a, by a Water-type move, and it also grants immunity to Water, even though it would already resist it um, heavily. Uh, having that uh, Health Regen can be very nice because it doesn't have um, a form of regen, besides the leftovers of course, it doesn't have a form of regen other than uh, rest, and that can be harmful because you might have to waste an item to get that thing awake, such as a chesto berry or a lumberry, um, or you would have to risk being asleep. And then its next ability, shell armor, can be good, but it's not very reliable. That is going to prevent critical hits. However, um, that would only really help you if your opponent got a if your opponent were to get a critical hit. What would normally be a critical hit, of course, because shell armor blocks them. So shell armor it can be good, but it's not necessarily the most reliable thing in the world. And hydration can definitely be helpful because that is going to, when the rain is up, that is going to eliminate um, status problems because Lapras has very limited recovery, of course, as I've already mentioned, so having hydration can definitely help to wall and to um, avoid being uh, stalled out with things like Toxic. So all of these combined are why I chose to give Lapras an abilities grade of an A-. It doesn't have the best abilities in the world, but for what it's used for, its abilities, its abilities can be pretty helpful, so not the best grade, but um, it's passable. 
So on to typing, of course as I mentioned at the beginning, Lapras is a water and ice type. And the big downfall here, and the reason why this typing grade gets a B, is its weakness to rocks. Um, being weak to stealth rocks is really uh, not a good thing um, for Lapras, of course, being an ice type. And it's also weak to fighting, and there are a lot of good fighting types. Um, well, I should say that uh, for NU, there, there are a lot of good fighting types in NU uh, to counter this thing. So um, that's sort of why I chose to give this thing a B. It doesn't have it doesn't have a terrible typing, of course, because uh, it does it it does have a decently defensive typing um, in water and ice because that's going to um, basically be normally damaged by almost every type, and of course it can be granted um, an immunity to water if it does have water absorb, but not having an immunity and being weak to fighting and also being weak to rocks. Um, stealth Rocks, of course, um, is just not not a good thing for Lapras, also because of not having health regen, so um, having having that weakness to Rocks can make it very difficult to switch this thing in, so that is why I chose to give Lapras a typing grade of a B. Now on to counters. The counters grade I chose to give Lapras was actually the biggest downfall um, while grading this, and it was a C+. Plus. That is mostly because, of course, rocks just cripple this thing, and because of things like Lapras and also Charizard being um, threats in NU, Stealth Rock is is really a thing that you need to look out for um, when using this Pokemon on any team against anyone, because um, almost anyone's going to be uh, looking out against those uh, against those two threats because of it being a metagame that's ruled basically by physical attacking. And, uh, yeah, it's just a physically run metagame, so having something like a Lapras, which is based specially for the most part, um, it, can, it, can, it can be hard to, uh, to switch into Stealth Rocks. And also, fighting types that are bulky um, can easily uh, use Stab on it, of course, and they can take um, some hits. Those would be things like Girder. And Ampharos can set up screens and T-Bolt all day. And also grass types like Tangela um, can hit it hard as long as you're not carrying Ice Beam. So maybe if you want to carry Ice Beam, of course, to cover that weakness, uh, that could be very beneficial. But that may take away from other things in your move pool. So that's just something to watch out for uh, when using Lapras. So that's why um, Lapras gets a counters grade of a C+. Stealth Rocks, again, cripple it. A lot of good fighting types in a new, as I've said, Ampharos, Tangela, all of those things really get to Lapras. So now that we've gone through all of these, it's time to give Lapras an overall grade, and the grade I chose to give Lapras is a B. It has very passable stats, definitely. Um, again, great HP, um, but it, it, does, it is a little bit lower in every other category. Of course, um, a lot of them are usable, though. And it has a very diverse move pool. That was the big plus of grading this thing. Hydration and Water Absorb can cover that gaping hole of having limited recovery. And its typing leaves some to be desired, of course, being weak to rocks and being weak to fighting, which are big things in NU. And there are just a lot of counters, like Ampharos, Tangela, as I've already mentioned, and uh, fighting types, as I've already mentioned. So, this thing, it's definitely usable. It can definitely be a threat in NU if you use it right. Um, but it does have its flaws. So, a good grade, not a great grade, of course, but um, Lapras, I'd say, is definitely a usable Pokémon. And now it's time for the part of the video that I like to call Mr. Lala Baba Suggests. This is where I suggest a set that you could run on the Pokémon featured in the video to be successful in competitive play. Today's is, of course, Lapras. So I will begin by explaining the EVs that you should put into this set. That is going to be 252 into attack, 252 into speed, and 4 into special defense. This isn't the most uh, bulky set, but you'll see how it works out in a minute. The ability I think that you should run on this set is Water Absorb. As I've already explained um, earlier in the video, that heals a fourth of your total HP when you're hit by a water type move. And the nature is adamant. That's going to lower your special attack and raise your attack. Now, you're not going to need that special attack because all of the moves that you're going to be attacking with are physical. The item that I chose for this set is the Lumberry. What that's going to do is that it's going to heal... Um, it's a one-time use, but it's going to heal any status infliction on Lapras. 
And now you're going to see how that all pieces together with the move set. The move set I chose was Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Rest, and Zen Headbutt. Dragon Dance is going to raise your attack and speed by one stage, with each by one stage. Um, with each use, Waterfall is going to just do damage, but it's also going to have a chance of flinching, plus you're going to have the same type of attack bonus, and Zen Headbutt is also going to have a chance of flinching. You're not going to get same type attack bonus from that, but it's still a hard-hitting move once you've DD'd up a few times. And Rest is going to heal you up to full HP but put you to sleep, so that Lumberry is going to come in handy because what that's going to do is allow you to get off a few Dragon Dances and then Rest, wake up with your Lumberry, and then begin um, to do hefty amounts of damage with Waterfall and Zen Headbutt. And if your opponent tries to status you at all, then you can easily get rid of it with the Lumberry. But remember, it is one-time use, so if you have been already given a status infliction and used your Lumberry, it might not be the best idea to go for rest because you will be staying asleep um, until you wake up within two to five turns. So the keys to running this set effectively are definitely um, to know when to rest and also to know when to switch out. It may be um, very tempting to stay in even if you know that you're at a disadvantage because you want to keep some stat boosts, maybe you got off two or three dragon dances and you want to keep those stat boosts, but if you know that your opponent's still going to outspeed you and they can one hit you or two hit you and you can't one hit them, um, it's going. you're definitely going to know, need to know when to switch out. And also, don't um, don't be afraid that you're not going to do enough damage. After a few Dragon Dances, this Lapras can definitely hit hard, and you can get things like Flinch Hacks in your favor because of both Waterfall and Zen, Zen Headbutt, I'm sorry, having the, the ability to flinch. So that's basically all there is to this set. You just bulk up with Dragon Dance, rest if you need to, and then attack with Waterfall and Zen Headbutt. So that is all there is to that set so feel free to try it out um tell me how it works out leave it in the comments and uh yeah that's once again that's all there is to that set and that's also going to be it for this installment of pokemon competitive bios if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please remember to leave a like rating and subscribe to this channel and comment down below if you have any feedback or if you have a pokemon that you'd like to see featured in a competitive bio and uh, I'll look through these comments and uh, and I'll see what I can do to uh, work out the next Pokemon for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, once again, to rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and check out my channel if you feel the need. Peace out, everyone.